hello everybody welcome back it's been a while since that last video but i'm excited to be here again to bring you another one um today i want to revisit the installation process for game of active directory version 2. the reason i'm making another video is because the old one doesn't work anymore when you go through the instructions step by step and you get to the stage where you run the command vagrant up that's the command that will fetch the iso files from the internet and build the five labs for you uh, that command doesn't work it just gives you errors you just see red text all over the screen and there isn't much in terms of feedback that can give you a clue what to do what to do next when i experienced that error i visited Mayf mayfly's um uh, github page um not the not to the original web page because i spotted a few things that need to be changed there as well but i went straight to the to the, to the github page and I'm seeing some changes. Uh, first of all, um, I noticed that uh, there is support for so many things like Proxmox and Azure, and and there are more labs that have been um, that have been added. Let me go through it uh, first. Um, as you scroll down the page you realize that they've added uh, gold light which consists of uh, three vms it's possible that these these three or this three vms lab existed before it is possible i was so enthusiastic last time with making the notes that i didn't actually get to notice but i don't remember seeing it i would have i would have made a note particularly when I started experiencing errors building the lab errors that relate to the system resources running out because when you build this lab you need you need memory so I would have picked it up I would have picked up that uh, there's an additional lab so I'm so happy I'm so happy that Mayfly did that just to build a smaller lab with just it says here with just three VMs um, consisting of uh, um two domains when i look here so there's like two domain controllers basically and uh, and one server so i'm i'm very happy mayfly has 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 done that for the community thank you mayfly um there's also uh the uh, sccm lab i've been seeing uh plenty of content since last year really i think since late last year i've picked up that people started making content people started talking about how uh, one could um, abuse the misconfiguration of uh, sccm to for lateral movement and basically to run wild in an active directory uh, network yeah so those um those are tech vectors they are out there so he provides a lab like that for you to build i haven't built it myself but i'm looking forward to building it and then sharing some information with you and then here's another one uh the nha i did not know much about the nha when i opened the page uh i believe he calls it the ninja hacker academy so when i read there what it's about it's it's also a lab uh, you may have had your time with the original lab the game of active directory you may have practiced all the vectors you may have practiced you know all the skills and all the techniques and all the popular um attack vectors maybe you know your way around them now um and when you're confident when you know your way around that one you might want another lab you know before you before you venture into hack the box maybe 
you may want another lab you know just to practice the original lab there's a lot of hand holding because when you go to his site um there's many walkthroughs you know he takes you through he takes you to through the walkthroughs to say how do you abuse trusts how do you abuse um poorly configured uh, acls how do you abuse delegation he there's a lot of hand holding that he does mayfly has done a lot of work here folks if you haven't seen this before this is the one this is the lab that uh, uh, you start working on yeah so i was explaining about the uh, ninja hacking lab uh, once you go through the once you've gone through the, orig the original lab and you really want to test your skills he's got one here where there aren't too many write-ups you know just so that you 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 test yourself how well how well did you learn all the other um attack vectors okay so given all these changes given all these and and it's a lot okay it's a lot uh, given all these changes you can you can imagine what a daunting task it can be trying to build them all okay so what he's done is uh, to make things a little bit easier I'm seeing some automated uh, some automation or some automated script you know scripts that he has provided to help us along I didn't see any of these the first time around so he has done that um i've also seen particularly when you do uh the virtual box route okay i didn't use vmware i use virtual box this is the virtual box route i've noticed a, a script there that um that does some uh, dependency check for you you know you can run that command there see um all the modules that you're supposed to select if ansible is missing if if virtual box is missing or any of those tools if any of them are missing the script here is meant to tell you um it's meant to do the check for you also there's a number of playbooks that i've noticed have changed okay so when you even when you go to his, his original page um these are the playbooks that you play right at the end of the process right at the end once you've run vagrant up once the individual machines are up and running you've got the five uh, you've got the five um windows machines running um you still need to make them vulnerable right you still need to uh, introduce all the vulnerabilities okay if you remember he had he had a script um, where he was uh, introducing those vulnerabilities and they were available here, okay? So even that has changed a bit. Uh, I remember in the past, uh, if you... If you open my original notes, let's just go to my page quickly. if you all right when you compare when you compare the playbooks in the old notes and you compare the playbooks um i'm just going to open the page now let's just follow the uh, virtual box install which is what i've done but when you compare the number of uh, playbooks that you run afterwards, um, let's, let's have a look here. Right. When you have a look at this page, okay, these are the individual playbooks that are played once you've run Vagrant up, once the five uh, boxes are running. These are the individual playbooks that you need to run so that the machine is weak, so that uh, you can test um the vectors that have been listed over here where were we this lab is huge this lab is huge um 
Goad. Yeah. All right. So for you to be able to um, uh, test any of these uh, techniques, obviously the box has to be crippled. You know, it's like uh, it's like um, it's like when you train somebody. Okay, it's like when you train somebody and you say, "Look, I'll tie my hands behind my back. Look, hit me." Basically, that's what you do when you you're letting you um you are taming the box. You you're making it so vulnerable, just for a person to be able to to test. Okay. So once you've got those five box running and you want your box to be vulnerable to all this, there are a bunch of playbooks that you need to run. So I was saying that when you compare the number of playbooks that you run to make the box vulnerable compared to the original list, you realize that something has changed. These look much longer. These here, they look much longer. Okay. So now, um, what does it mean for you? What does it mean? Um, I mean, you follow the other videos and 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 things were crashing out. And what do you do now? Well, I'm 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 not gonna do that whole video thing again, okay? But what I will do is um, I will share the link to the installation update that I have done. I've done this installation update here. When you follow this, this basically works pretty much the same as the original notes that I have made. But please, okay, this is just my interpretation of the notes. Anything can change again. You know, I don't know when I'm going to be revisiting the box. I intend to visit it a lot to make more videos, but I don't know when I'm going to come back to this lab again. So I urge you to please, even before you consider my notes, just go through the original, go to the source, okay? Who knows, by the time you see this video, by the time you give this uh, lab a try, something else must have changed, okay? Maybe I'm busy with other things and haven't revisited. Maybe my installation notes fail again, okay? It's always a good idea to go to the source. Go to the source, read for yourself, see what's changed. Mayfly is a highly technical and highly competent person, okay? The reason why I made these notes is because it can be overwhelming to go through so much of his content uh, on your own, particularly if you are starting. So I made these notes just to make it easy for a person who is starting out because uh, when I tried to set up the lab myself, I was overwhelmed by the detail, okay? But eventually I was able to find um, my way and I made a few notes and I put them together and I put them on GitHub for everybody to share, okay? So these are the installation updates. Maybe I should put a date somewhere, I don't know. What I will do is I will put this link to the bottom of the video like I've done before uh, the others. It is pretty much like the other videos. That's why I won't even bother deleting the old videos. Okay, I won't bother the videos, but I will put uh, links to this update just to make everybody aware that, listen, something has changed. The old notes don't work as they did. So I have updated the notes. If you follow these notes, then um, you should come right. Oh. It's very important that I mention this. The community is large, okay? There are some people who prefer not virtual box but VMware, okay? VMware, VMware is going through some things. There are people who are abandoning VMware. It's all over the internet. You can look it up. People have their reasons. 
the people who would rather get into Azure, okay? These notes here are for those people that are following the classic way of installing Game of Active Directory. I'm talking about Ansible, Vagrant, and VirtualBox, okay? Uh, I haven't done notes for um, VMware. I'm sure others have. Um, I haven't done notes for uh, Proxmox. I haven't done notes for Azure, okay? I think somebody out there will do. If I do get some time this year, I will do similar notes. These notes here are for people who are using VirtualBox, Ansible, and Vagrant, okay? So, good luck. As I said, I'm not going to make another video. Um, just follow the notes. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the other side.